We are here in Lima, Peru, where Albert is, uh, has received some of his initial uh, stem cell treatments, and uh, they consisted of receiving neuron brain stem cells uh, mixed with brain-derived neurotrophic factor and nerve growth factor, and uh, it was administered into the spinal canal, which then circulated around and around through the cerebral spinal fluid and into the ventricles of the brain and then into the brain itself. Um, uh, this is his father, Paul, who uh, will tell us a little bit about his past history. Uh, tell us um, about your wife's pregnancy and delivery briefly and at, what, at approximately what point you were aware of his having difficulties? Uh, thank you. Uh, my wife Magdalena was born, I uh, was um, pregnant, a normal pregnancy. Uh, she did not have uh, any problems with the pregnancy, <clears throat> with this pregnancy. Uh, we had uh, constant supervision by um, uh, a doctor for uh, his uh, uh, development no signs of any problems at all. At birth he was born normally, uh, vaginally, and um, he, it was noticed a bruise on the side, uh, right side of his uh, neck. And um, that bruise was thought to be a, uh, a bruise from birth. Uh, actually it was a swelling that uh, later uh, blew up, uh, was found to be a hemangiotelioma in the neck that Push his airway to the left, and he had difficulty breathing. And um, in August, he was born in June 19, uh, 2002, June 24. And in August 10, we took him to Philadelphia Hospital. How old is he now? Albert is uh, six, seven, will be eight uh, in June 24. He was intubated, and we spent four months in a hospital, and we were told that. Uh, he uh, had a still syndrome. What happened, the hemangioma, which is a blood tumor, drew the blood from his brain and starved the brain from oxygen, which caused uh, the brain to uh, uh, stay, uh, not develop. And um, uh, later on, he received uh, uh, several uh, strokes, bilateral in both sides. He has his eye cross. He did not move anything. and. Uh, uh, in the hospital, he was embolized through the car carotid uh, bra um, uh, vein, and 75% uh, it was embolized and was stopped because one particle escaped to the brain. Um, however, um, Albert was in this condition for uh, this amount of time until yesterday, when we noticed big difference in his uh, in his life. He can hold his head better. And uh, prior to this, uh, we started with hyperbaric uh, medical treatments. Uh, he received about 150 uh, uh, sessions. What I noticed, first hour of hyperbaric, his swellness went down about 85%. And uh, the bruise that was there, you could not see anymore. And the doctor explained to me that uh, the hyperbaric treatments uh, decrease the inflammation and uh, improve uh, uh, improve uh, the oxygen to the brain and repairs the area that has been uh, in the penumbra, uh, where the surrounding tissues where the damage is done. However, this is not enough. Uh, Penn State University had a study that hyperbaric uh, treatments, hyperbaric oxygen, release uh, uh, so um, not. Uh, nitric oxide that is a promoter for the stem cells. This is not enough. And uh, stem cell transplant uh, is the only one, the only, uh, the only treatment I, I believe it's, uh, that is available and will benefit uh, is visible, what he did. <coughs> um, Albert could uh, move more, he's more alert. And uh, when the stem cells are placed in the brain, they are not stopping in one place, they are going 
all over the signals comes from the brain, the damage area, sigma, delta signals, and the stem cells are traveling there. They fill the area, they multiply in the right amount. They also promote the astrocytes that protect the myelin sheath to, to create the transmission and, and uh, uh, axons. And uh, when they fill one area, they travel to the whole brain. And there are studies that have been done with, uh, with rats. With, uh, uh, why? Because the rats have the closest DNA to humans. Uh, they uh, uh, had the rats uh, been quadriplegic. When the stem cells went in, uh, they started to walk and they, they utilized, they uh, 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 analyzed the brain and it was found that only 5 to 10 percent of the improvement in the brain restored the whole function in the rats. But the stem cells don't stop at only 5 to 10 percent. They go and feel they repair the whole area. And uh, we are very happy to have uh, Dr. Feinerman uh, with so much, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, so much experience, knowledge, and uh, 50 years, over 50 years, uh, the best uh, uh, pediatric uh, doctor you can find. And uh, Dr. Paino, who has been trained in the United States um, for seven years at Mount Sinai, uh, uh, is a his doctor in neurology, has received a, uh, also a um, um, PhD at the George Washington University in, Was in, in Washington, D.C., uh, he is one of the best doctors and compassionate, one of the best in the world. And we came here because um, it's a political issue in the United States. It's just a political issue. Why is not done in the United States? Medicine is all over the world, like the air is the same, or the water, it's H2 all over the world. So we receive this treatment here, and hopefully soon will be allowed in our free country, United States, to get this uh, treatment to the children and the people that uh, will save their lives, will save the family lives. Nobody told us, I did the research on my own. I spent hours reading and finding a way with hyperbaric, with uh, about stem cell transplant. Nobody, no doctors told us. Um, the neurologist just dismissed us. He has no seizures and they have a happy life at home. But uh, nobody knows how many nights we did not sleep. Um, my career uh, is finished with, uh, I hope it's not finished when it's getting better. Uh, I play music, many people know me, I'm an artist, um, I traveled, I made recordings, people were happy, my music was healing for many people. Uh, but first thing is the family, first thing is your children, that you have to take care of them. And I have, uh, Albert has two more, two more sisters born after him, normal children, Maria is five years old, uh, Elizabeth is a uh, three-year-old, and Albert has an older brother. He's much taller than me, you know, he's 14. Sam is a smart guy, he's uh, on computer all day, he's playing games and he's doing math, English, uh, he's a college level. And uh, um, Tell uh, us uh, a little bit more going back about uh, the deficits that Albert has prior to the stem cell treatment. Uh, uh, speech, uh, walking, <coughs> feeding himself, uh, uh, yes, uh, going to the bathroom, etc. Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Albert um, has uh, no speech except few words. Mama, Tata. Uh, he understands much more than he can uh, be able, than he's able to say. Um, he knows about fifty uh, different objects. He has homeschool. Uh, because of his immune system is being low, he could not go to the public school. Uh, and he, the teacher is coming at home. He knows the alphabet from A to Z. He has choices to make between A and B. And the teacher asks him, what is B? And he touches the B. Um, and uh, he works uh, with, he had difficulty working with puzzles. He's grabbing now uh, puzzles and putting there. Uh, as far as uh, digestion, he's unable to eat anything by mouth. He lost, uh, at the uh, early age, he lost the sense of swallowing. Um, he could not eat anything by mouth. He had uh, vomiting. Uh, he could aspirate. He was a danger. And uh, he has a tube that is here, that is where the food goes in his stomach. And uh, 
uh, we continue to give him nutrition through this. Uh, here is. It's been placed when he was a little bit. He was about four months of age. Let me, let me put, put this here a bit. 